Untuk Bara dengan suasana di ruang Bintang Esko. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati asanteni sikisati zote zikizingatiwa ningependa kuwakaribisha hapa nyumbani Olozengurai kwa kweli ni wakati mgumu sisi kama wana familia wa hapa na kuona kwamba mmekuja kusoma na sisi katika wakati huu mgumu na pia tunapoenda uh, kumpumzisha eh, dada yetu ningependa kuwakaribisha na kusema ni asante sana kwa kufika kwenu hapa mjisikie mko nyumbani na eh, muendelee kusimama na sisi kwa hivyo mjisikie mkiwa huru karibuni sana tujumuike pamoja na ingada dada yetu ametuacha lakini tunaamini kwa roho bado tuko pamoja tumsifu Yesu Kristo asante asante sana Queen Um, we had held a written mass in Nairobi on Monday where we had some tributes as well as um, eulogy read. So we will not be having the eulogy being read today. But uh, so from this point, we will proceed into the tributes and speeches. So on behalf of the Yapan family, I will call Sami Gilishi to come and My name is uh, Sami Gilisha Yapan. Um, so Iliangi si noma kama na Queen but uh, secondary mtu. Hapa uh, muko panaito Lopi Kai. And uh, when Chief Gilisha alihamisha wa Masai the south wa Lupita Gilti na kuteremka hapa. So behind this farm is the original cattle track wa Masai wa kuteremka sana. Kaapa, there was some very interesting statement how the name Olokikai came to be. And while he's speaking to the Maasai, he said, Ma, Orete na iweji, na ikera kera, ondonga nak ole, na ibotie oloikirikai. Yani maali unatetemeka. And by sanane mutakwa mkitetemeka. Uh, Nataka kuanza na hadithi ndogo uh, kuwa na tajiri moja e, na kifo ilikuwa inatembelea watu at that time. So ilipokuja kwake akaiambia akifanyia sherehe kubwa sana. Kifo ikakula nyama, I think ujamaa alikuwa Masai, ikakula nyama, akaipatia kinywaji, kifo ikalewa. Ikablit as the new generation says. Then, Jamaa kaangalia list, akaona he was next. Akafuta, akaikamisha. Kifu walipuamuka from his blackout. Akasema, Ero umenisaidia bana, nimeshiba, nimefurai. In fact, zita deal na wewe, wacha ni deal na uyu wa muisho. Ndiyo. The moral of the story is, When we are born, we are a gift to the world and to our parents. And it's down to our parents that we have to look after. Our sister, Rita, uh, lived a life of honor. As we can all attest from the, the various tributes we have received from friends, they are overwhelming and they are very touching. We want to thank you and uh, appreciate your support. I'd like to introduce the Yapan family. I'll start with the... Uh, Uh, I'll just call them in our fathers and mothers can stand. Uh, we have uh, Suzanne, uh, she went to the Prophet. Dominic is Rita's dad. Then we have Veronica, call Veronica on the speaker. And then we have Vincent. Yes, yeah, can you raise your hand? Then we have uh, Mary. And then, uh, thank you, Auntie. And Lucy. Yes, and Sophie. We also 
also have our, our brother, our uncle, Kina uh, Frederick, and Brother Lame, you know, she's in the Sibuina, Brother Lame, Sula, Kini, those are our fathers. Uh, we are really honored to be here. Um, I was just sitting there and remind, remembering how uh, we used to go to the Catholic church down the street, Mkoapo Electoral Center, and we used to sing every Christmas Eve, and we were all young, we remember we were dancing for the Lord, and I sure hope and pray, and we are very sure that Biko is dancing with the Lord Jesus. We pray that uh, he continue wrestling with time of peace, and uh, what well, last request, and I will request, and we pray that if you have roses in heaven, please, Lord, pluck the bunch and hand to Rita. I don't know. Thank you very much. Um, still on the family, there is a written tribute, which will be read by Agnes Jackson. We will get back to Agnes. Oh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Good. Sorry. Rita's departure has left us in a state of deep relief and sorrow. Today, we stand here, our hearts heavy with grief, yet filled with gratitude for having been a part of Rita's extraordinary journey. We could have spent countless hours expressing our love for her, but she knew how much she meant to us. She was a doting mother, and her world revolved around her beloved daughter Mia. Her devotion and love will forever be cherished and remembered. Rita was a woman of substance, a woman of integrity, and a woman of indomitable spirit. She was a fixer, a troubleshooter, always ready to help, lend a helping hand, and always ready to go the extra mile. Her dedication to her family was unwavering and her commitment to her work was unparalleled. She was a pillar of strength and a source of comfort to us. No task was too big or too small for her. She was always just a phone call away, ready to let, lend a helping hand or a listening ear. Her nieces and nephews can attest to this. It is a unique story to tell. for order and neatness. Her home was her sanctuary, and she took great pride in maintaining it to her, high, to her high standards. If you ever had the privilege of making an appointment with Rita, you would, you would know that she was a strict timekeeper. Punctuality was not just a virtue for her. It was her way of life. The world has shared her experiences of Rita, her values, and her profound impact she had on their lives. These tributes have left us outstanding, but not because we were unaware of her character, but because the extent of, of her influence is beyond comprehension. Rita's legacy is not confined to her family or her immediate circle. It transcends borders, touching lives far and wide. Since the news of her demise, we have been enveloped with an overwhelming wave of love and support, a testament to the person Rita was. This outpouring of affection has provided us with the immense solace, yet it has brought tears to our eyes. We knew Rita belonged to us, her family. However, through the tributes, phone calls, testimonies, and messages we have received, we have come to realize the multitude of lives that Rita touched through various ways. Rita was a trusted confidant to family, friends, and colleagues. She was a vault of secrets, never letting one hand know what the other was doing. What was shared with Rita stayed with Rita, a lady of few yet profound words. 
she silently, she silently looked, looked, at her world, looked at her world in a manner that, in a manner that left, her left her in the spotlight. In the spotlight. But how, did, but she how did she manage to devote so much time to her family and still give and still herself, to, herself the to the world? This, this will remain, will a, mystery. remain a mystery. But her selflessness, but her selflessness will, remain will remain a standard we can only, we can strive, only strive to achieve. To achieve. There is, no there is no doubt you have taken, you have taken your, place your place in heaven, in heaven Rita. We are jealous, we of, are jealous the of the angels who have now, who have now privilege the privilege of your company. Of your company. Your legacy, your legacy will live on, live on in the hearts of, heart of those you touched, and your memory, and your memory will, be will be a guiding light for us all. For us all. As, we bid As we bid farewell to Rita, we leave you, we leave you with a question. If your, if your tomorrow never comes, who will remember, who will remember you? How will you be remembered? Go well, our precious Rita. You truly were the salt of the earth. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to call Mama Shiko to come and give a brief remark. Is she here? Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Majina ni Agnes Saitoti Yapan. Nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. Nashindwa niseme nini kama msasi. Lakini ninasema tu Yesu ni Bwana. Chochote tikitokea kizuri au kibaya tunasema tu Mungu ana remain tu kuwa Mungu. Maana huyu mtoto ni mtoto mdogo sana. Kwa hii family ndiye alikuwa last born. Na mnajua love ya last born. Lakini tumesoma tributes nyingi na tukajua kwamba sisi tunajua huyu mtoto tu akiwa mdogo. Lakini alipoenda huko nje akawa mtu mzima na akawa mtu wa kutumikia watu na Mungu amefanya mambo makuu ambaye Mungu pia atamlipa. Maana watu hawakufi one day hao watu watakuwa hai na watalipwa na ufalme wa milele. Kwa hivyo sisi kama familia tunasema asandi ni kwa sababu ya nyinyi wote ambaye mume to support na nyinyi wote ambaye mmejitolea kuwa mahali hapa na wale wote walijitolea hata kwenda mmoja na kulete mwili na wale wote wameacha kazi zao kwa sababu ya sisi kama family. Asandi Mungu atawalipa maana Mungu wetu ndiye awariwada. Kwa hivyo tumesoma mambo mengi ya lita. Na mimi kama mzazi wake mimi ni mama mdogo wake na nikisoma hiyo jambo ninaona tu Mungu ndani ya lita. Kwa hivyo Mungu uh, mtu akifanya mambo mazuri anafanya kwa sababu ya Mungu aliye ndani yake. Naye Mungu atamreward kwa sababu Mungu ndiye anariward. Na atamreward na ufalme wa milele milele amina bwana wabariki sana amen okay asante sana mama yetu sasa tutaenda kwa jirani ambaye ni ndugu yetu john george kulu karibu sana ndugu the parish priest the DLY family <coughs> the friends of Rita all other family members my name is Parmale Kuluo I'm the immediate neighbor of this family whom we have grown together with Rita from our childhood and therefore we have a lot to say about her but um, we are very little for now because God has done what is good for Rita. So Loikiri Krai has lost. Narrow County has lost. Rift Valley has lost. And Kenya has lost. 
It's a very painful moment for the Ma nation that you are going to rest the first Ma girl to be a presenter of news in various media stations. In school, we met where she was in Masai Girls, I was in Kilgore school. And every time they will come for activities, she will come, we will talk with her sister Claudia, and we could have uh, had a lot of time. But one time I remember, she came for a music festival. By then there were no phones, but we had made correspondence about three weeks earlier. But the date was set, and I made sure we took meet together in school. Looking at the tributes that you have seen in the social media, print and visual, we have lost a great leader. Her sickness and untimely demise surprised all of us. We gathered in groups asking why and how, because we've never known about the sickness of Tinina. No one had an answer. We left it to the Lord. Torn between the first and the last one, King, thank you for being strong for the family. You have stood with the family and you have shown some leadership even this morning. To our daughter, Malaika, we have come to you to give you hope and to tell you all is not lost. God has ultimate exit. Trust in God. All you have to be strong. You have strong parents. You have strong family that will stand with you. Masai girls, fraternity. Um, I taught in that school for 12 years. And whenever Rita was coming to Narok, she would always pay a courtesy call. And we are just about to start a Masai Girls alumni with the name of helping the girls of Masai Girls Secondary School. Let us educate the girls, the parents in the house, because you have seen what Rita has been. Let us avoid all malpractice that brings down the girl child and give them education to have more ma girls in the position that Rita had. Let's emulate RTY. She energizes everyone. Though she was very quiet, but her heart was big. And I was expecting to meet with her on 20th April at Olenti Mama Stadium. Those who are aware of what is happening there on 20th April, um, you are ready to meet. But here we are. Today is a sad day, but we leave everything to God. As the Bible says, we live for the Lord and we die for the Lord. Rest in peace, my sister Rita. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, our brother George. Uh, Masai girls, it's your time now. protocol observed, I'll request Maasai girls to stand up and wave. My name is Anne Lanoi Keton. I am going to read tribute to Rita Tinina. 
class of 95 and Maasai girls na rock. Rita chini na yapan. The MG community mourns you. Our heart aches. Seems like just the other day, in 1993, when you walked into our class accompanied by Polina Rocco, with the inquisitiveness of the pseudos, as we call Form 2s, them days, we quickly prompted you to tell us your name in a unique, deep, and husky voice that would later uh, rule our television airwaves. You replied, I am Rita Mali. Of course, we would learn later that your admiration for reggae music had prompted the name. This marked our high school life together in a little known school at the heart of my land, the Maasai girls. Rita, your command of the Queen's language was unparalleled. Your articulate as you read excerpts from the, look, the love book of them days, which also served as one of our set books, the, sex, the Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, left us all wowed. We longed for your turn to read, just as we could enjoy your voice. It was not a surprise when you eventually conquered the country's airwaves, and we always prided in it as the MGs. Your outstanding humility will see you rise to become the class prefect for the 95 MG class. As the commander in class, you exuded authority, yet fair in judgment. You steer the class to excellence, which will be witnessed by the remarkable results of the 95 MG class. This tribute will be incomplete if we don't mention your role in the out-of-class performance. Drama team marveled at your active role. The hockey team, all their performance in the days for your expertise, commitment, and love for the game. The debating sessions were spiced with your eloquence and admirable trails of thoughts, characteristics of your debating style. From the days of old, we knew you'd represent us well. Let me celebrate here how well. Rita, music was your thing. You knew the latest trendy music and dancing styles. You'll bring us some cassettes of the most recent music and made our Saturday nights, famously known as Boogie, so unforgettable. You made us listen to night, the late night music every evening during the holiday tuition. Certainly, your dream for media was born right outside Dome D. Girl, when you appeared in our screens, pride filled us as you ably represented the MG community. Yes, you covered every praise that you shared and yes, Every time you saw you on stage, we felt represented. A heroine has indeed fallen. You ran your race. You finished your race. There is definitely a crown laid out for you. To Mia, Robert Nagila, and Japan's family, may God comfort you. Thank you very much, the Maasai girls, alumnas, and the team. Uh, we are going to change a bit of how the program is running. Um, we will now invite uh, strong pillars, um, the ladies who were part of a group with Rita, very close friends of hers. If the Njeris are here, and as they come, just to let you know, Masai girls, there is something you have said which some generation may not identify with, something you said cassette. That is a generational memory. Karibuni.
So the ladies say they would like to sing a song. So I think it's easier for them to do it from there. Good morning and praise the Lord. Um, we all rate as friends in different capacities. We are just going to celebrate her with one song. We would ask all of you to join us. It's a song we all know. Buana Osehemoi Yago. Buana Osehemoi Yago. Rafiki Yango Kwewe. Katika Safari Yango. Natembe. Asante sana, asante sana uh, strong pillars, poleni sana uh, pamoja na wale wengine. Kwa niaba ya kanisa, uh, tutamuita chairman uh, Karia, John Karia, kwa niaba ya kanisa. Asante sana, uh, karibu. Waombelezaji wote walioweza kufika siku ya leo tumsifu Yesu Kristo Mungu asifiwe Kwa majina naitwa Joseph Karia mwenyekiti wa St Teresa hapa Catholic hapa Olokere Grai Langu tu leo ni ku eh, katika familia hii Eh, mmekuwa msaada kwa sisi tangu siku ile ambaye eh, mambo hii yalitokea hii familia tumeona kwamba haijakaa upweke vikundi vyote vya kanisa VCME CWA PMC wote wamekuwa eh, katika familia hii kuja kuwa pamoja na hii familia kuona kwamba e, hawajapungukiwa na chochote iwe ni upande wa e, kuwa upweke au upande kuona kwamba kazi yote inaendelea kiangalia around kuna kazi nyingi 
ya kutengeneza around here kwa hivyo basi langu pia ilikuwa tu ni kushukuru eh, sana vikundi vyote vya kanisa pia mapadri hawaja kama mbali na hii familia kila wakati tumekuwa hapa ku, eh, kwa maibada zote kila wakati eh, langu tu ilikuwa ni kuwashukuru kuambia asante sana na kila mmoja awe ni hapa na Robi mmesikia eh, sifa Sarita yule ambaye mwenda zake mmesikia ni mtu alikuwa mkakamfu mkakamfu alikuwa na eh, talent ya kipekee alikuwa anafanya mambo ambaye kila mmoja ambaye amekuja hapa alikuwa anaongea rita na bila shaka tunaambiwa kila wakati lazima alikuwa na background pale fulani wasasi wa rita wamekuwa nguzo kwa kanisa hii yetu that was early Uh, 90s and late 90s baba wa um, wa Rita amekuwa mwenyekiti wa hii kanisa yetu kwa miaka mingi sana na mambo mengi sana yale ambaye yako hapo imetengenezwa ime amechangia kwa kifedha kwa mfuko yake kwa hivyo Rita vile mnasema kwamba lazima alikuwa na background fulani pahali fulani kutokana na wale watu nguzo sa wale watu walikuwa mbele yake pia saa hii tuko na ndugu yake hapa anaitwa Kin Kin wale ambaye wanajua e, sisi tukiwa wanakatoliki hapa amekuwa nguzo kwa hii kanisa habaki nyuma watu wakisema tunana mbele tunataka hii Kin anakuwa ni moja e, wa wale ambaye they don't shy. Kwa hivyo Rita ako na watu ambaye inaonekana kwamba e, alitoka kwa familia ambaye inajitolea kwa kila njia. Langu tu nikwambia karibuni sana. Muwe pamoja mpaka tamati. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. sana mze. Um, just a quick announcement. Um, if you are the owner of the KDN 939W, you are requested to kindly move your car. KDN 939W, kindly move your car. Now, as we all know and as is evident to everyone, Rita has been part of the media fraternity for many years, and aside from that, we've had many testimonials across this time and even before and many will still be said beyond today of how she has mentored many and as we get into the different tributes by uh, colleagues in the media space um, there are some who she was already working with here uh, at home and so i will call for a brief tribute bernard kudate and singiriaki to kindly come and briefly speak. Itifaki zote siku zimezingatiwa. Eh familia pamoja na marafiki hamjamboni. Kwa majina naitwa Alex Angriaki. Uh, mwanafunzi kwenye chuo cha wanahabari sasa hivi niko kwenye masomo yangu ya nyanjani kwenye kituo cha Gospel FM 99.1 kituo ambacho kinakuwa kwa kazi sasa hivi mjini Narok na kabla niende mbali nilipotoka kule nilipewa risala za rambirambi na askofu ambaye ndio CEO wa kampuni yetu eh, daktari Augustine Rugut akaniambia nitume salamu na pole zake kwa familia la pili sisi tumehusunika sana. Manake e, mama alilala sisi tutamuita mama kwa sababu ametushika mkono. Azma yetu ya kuwa wanahabari tangia tulipojiunga na e, chuo kikuu alitushika mkono 
kila wakati tukimpigia simu anakushajiisha anatuelewesha anakuambia kwamba ajitume na wakati mwingi sana ametusaidia pakubwa sana hakika amekuwa kielezo bora katika nyanja hii na pia Rita alikuwa wa kutegemewa alitushika mkono katika nyanja hii na ametusaidia kupata mwelekeo pasipo yeye labda sisi leo hii hatungekuwa hapa na ushuhuda huu kwa hivyo sisi tuna huzuni kubwa lakini hatuna la kumwambia Mwenyezi Mungu manake ni kazi ya Mungu sisi wote ni shamba la Mwenyezi Mungu na anavuna wakati anataka asante niwashukuru nyote hamjambo kwa majina nafahamika kama Benson Kudate mwanafunzi vile vile ambaye anapanga kwenda masomo ya nyanjani mwezi kesho na labda tu kwa isani ya wale ambao hawaelewi Kiswahili nisungumze tu lugha ya mama kwa sababu mwingine ama mwenzangu amesungumza kwa lugha ya Kiswahili eh atejo enda sobabogen eh orena singa na na ragate ni na ndo mara ngasa itulusinyajo pole toljoreta ormarei ole latia tengara jana na dasi ore niare ketangwara urkuak lerita tinina ya raburkuak sidai na to raye siyo romba sidai iki ngwara ba beke yako ltonganak laijo ninye ore ke bollo na ro nabai ke jiro iki poke nyake omano to orita tinina kage ore amwe ngai na ishoyo iki njangai na she amwe ara ninyana lo mengai Nero na ngiki jito ore ngana yule nyana ko otunu araki loto ne bulo na ke bulla amu etengana yo gamba ko moko ashole labda kwa kiswahili tu nikufahamishe kwamba tuseme pole si zote kwa sababu ratiba ya kila mja anayo nejalia na zaidi ya yote tunasema safiri salama bingu wa tutaonana siku nyingine ama kule binguni Asanteni sana. Um I would like to invite a few other um colleagues from the Media Fraternity to come and give brief remarks and I will call the president of the Kenya Editors Guild Subeda Kananu who is also a friend who is also a very close friend of Rita's and for the benefit of those who may not know by the time Rita rested she was also an editor so karibu sana zubeda viongozi wa kanisa familia waombolezaji wana habari wenzangu wana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena ningependa kuomba wana habari wenzangu na wahariri wote kusimama mahali mlipo muwapungie waombolezaji mkono nimeona wengine wamepita wameenda upande wa nyuma hao ndio journalist kutoka Nairobi wengine wamepita wameelekea upande wa nyuma thank you so much for being here kwa majina naitoa Zubeida Kananu Mimi ni rais wa wahariri nchini Kenya Kenya Editors Guild Rita alikuwa mmoja wetu Tunahisi kupungukiwa sana Inauma sana kwa sababu hata ishuka nilioivaa tulinunua na Rita assignment yetu ya mwisho Eldoret hata shuka iko pale yenye tulijifunika naye tulikuwa tulipokuwa assignment tumekuwa naye kipindi kirefu sana na wakati wote atujawahi kuona Rita amekosana na mtu licha ya kuwa kwamba alikuwa na tajiriba kubwa Rita hakuwa na majivuno Rita alikuwa ni mtu wa kupenda kila mtu bila kudharau mtu yeyote 
najua wakati mwingine inafika mahali tunataka kuuliza Mungu kwa nini mbona akamchukua Rita mbona akamchukua Rita kutoka kwetu lakini tunasema kwamba kazi ya Mungu haina makosa ni ile tu tutamwombea Mungu ailaze roho yake mahala pema tuseme kwamba tumwachilie kwa sababu tusipomwachilia hata pumzika tuseme Mungu ailaze nafsi yake mahala palipo na wema kwa sababu anasema anatuandalia makao hiyo ndio safari yetu sote kifo cha mamangu kilikuwa ghafla kama Rita tu na kitu ambacho nilijifunza ni kwamba maisha yetu ni kama jua tu bila ambavyo ina chomoza asubuhi na kutua ni ile tu atujui jua yetu itatua wakati gani kwa hivyo kile ambacho tunajifunza kutoka kwa Rita tuwe ni watu wa kupendana tusikuwe ni watu wa majivuno tusikuwe ni watu ambao wanadharau watu wengine unaelezo kwamba mtu mzuri hujizika Rita angekuwa ameaga sasa hivi lakini kukoso kuwa na watu hapa lakini unapojiona watu ambao wamejitokeza ni kuonyesha kwamba Rita alikuwa mtu ambaye alipenda watu, alipenda kuishi vizuri na watu hata tulipokuwa barabara ya Narok tulipatana na polisi kule walisema walikuwa namjua. Eh? Walikuwa nafuatilia habari zake. Kwa hivyo tujifunze, kando na kulia tujifunze. Tujifunze kutoka kwa Rita, tuwe ni watu wa kupendana, tuwe ni watu wa kushikana mkono, tuwe ni watu wa kuvumiliana. Hakuna haja kuwa na chuki tujifunze kutoka kwa Rita Mia we love you Mungu atakupa nguvu na tutaendelea kukushika mkono Kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya wanahabari wenzangu wote walio hapa na wale walio Nairobi na maeneo mengine nchi tunatoa pole zetu Mungu atufariji Mungu atupe nguvu na ila roho yake paliko na wewe Amen Sant sana Zubeida. Um, next I'll call Eric Odur who is the Secretary General of the Kenyan Union of Journalists to come and give a brief remark. Eric is also a colleague at the Nation Media Group. Thank you. To the family of uh, Rita, colleagues in the media fraternity i take this opportunity to convey my sincere condolences for the loss of uh, our colleague rita was not only a colleague at national media group but she was also my classmate at the university of nairobi we graduated together same year same graduation and a lot has been said about her she was a professional journalist and we usually say that a journalist is judged by his or her work and you've seen for a week now the series that have been running of Rita and you can see that indeed she was a professional journalist and I usually say that as a journalist you are as good as the brand that you've built and that is the brand that Rita had built as a professional journalist so I wouldn't want to say much just to say that as Journalist, we've lost a great colleague. And this should also go to those who want and aspire to become journalists. It's good for you to learn from Rita what has been written, what has been said about her, and what she has done. It's a great loss. And getting a professional journalist who will fill the shoes of Rita I don't think if you are likely to get any time soon. So to the family, friends and colleagues, I can convey my sincere condolences and pray that may her, may her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kona SG. And there is a gentleman who is not only a colleague but he has also been a very close friend um, so close that even the family entrusted him with chairing the committee um, for uh, Rita's funeral and you know farewell committee um, Duncan Haemba 
um, I'd like to just call you up briefly. And Haemba is one of the first people to be called when the incident happened. And just come. Um, he is. He was a close friend to Rita as well, and also, like I said, the chairman of the committee. I'd just like you to give your brief remarks now. Ombolezaji wote na wasalimia asubuhi ya leo hamjambo. Kimekuwa kipindi kigumu sana kwetu, wandishi wa habari. Uh, alivosema ni ilikuwa majira kama haya mwendo wa saa sita tulipo wenzangu walipofika mwisho kaona kwamba hampati mwariri wetu ambaye alikuwa tutarishie taarifa za siku hiyo nilipompigia Robert simu sijui kila linieleza kama nieleza kufahamu manake tulibishana nikamwambia hayezi kuwa kwamba yana unasema ni kweli na kuanzia hapo mambo hayajakuwa mepesi lakini hata hivyo nataka kuwashukuru ninyi nyote ambao mmesimama hapa haswa wanahabari wenzetu katika chumba cha katika kampuni ya Nation Media Group uh, jamii ya wanahabari wote marafiki manake tulipokuwa tunakaa Kenya kamati ilikuwa siku ya Alhamisi tulikuwa tumeweza kukusanya takriban laki, na, laki nane peke yake 800,000 we didn't know what to do because i remember jedida saying we are in the thick of things but colleagues friends we really say thank you we had a mountain of a budget but we managed to surpass Uh, by far until this morning we are still receiving contribution that just depends to the picture on uh, who Rita meant to all of you i would say that uh, she invested heavily in friendship and that is testament to what we are witnessing here and what we witnessed in nairobi as i said it is not well it is not well but uh, we look up to god i ask myself if as friends colleagues this is how we are feeling what about her immediate family what about her siblings her young daughter the partner but i believe that we will hold each other i i think time will come when the burden will be a bit lighter but for now May God continue to comfort us all as we go through the motions and as he has mentioned we have received a lot of support from across and we would also just like to give special mention to the presidency that is also represented here um, led by the press secretary in the presidential communication service Imanda Talam who was also a colleague to Rita and he shall be speaking later on as well as the leadership of various media houses and at this point i will invite on behalf of the standard group Ken Mijungu to come and give us a brief tribute God is good and all the time Uh, my name is Kermi Jungu. I stand here on behalf of the Standard Group and I'd like to see I like the mourners to see my colleagues who have uh, come to help us send Rita to her final resting place today. Standard Group. Right. So, uh these are members of Standard Group. Uh, Rita left the Standard Group Asante sana. Thank you so much. Rita left the Standard Group sometimes last year and she was a standard group for more than 10 years um she was a colleague she was a good person a very good person 
sometimes we are at loss. Um, we lack words. I saw her the week before she passed on, and we were on the street, and she just waved, and uh, she drove on. So on behalf of Standard Group, we had made our statement from Nairobi. I'd just like to say once more to the church, to the community, to the family of Rita, Poleni Sana, and to Mia, because of who your mother was and because of what she did and who you're becoming as a young lady, the world will never forget you. The world will never forget you. And I know when your time reaches, it will be a great impact. We will not forget. So on behalf of Standard Group, I'd just like to say to pass our condolences, Poleni Sana to the community, and we stand with you. Asante Nisana. Thank you, Ken. Um, at the National Media Group, um, Rita came back about six or so months ago, and I worked closely with her. Um, like if those of you may have seen Joa Gale's um, tribute of the Rita Tinina he knew, he spoke of many she has a failed attempt to get her to become an editor. Rita was worth being an editor years ago, but she was still keen on still being in the field and not so much behind a desk. So when she came to NMG as, a, as an editor now, the one, one significant thing I have learned from her is being content in who you are and what you're worth. And she did not feel like she was being belittled and she did not fear consulting. Karibuni sana, Senators of Narok and Kitui County. And so I was saying, Rita did not fear consulting. She did not feel like it made her any less of a journalist. There are some of us who feel we have to prove to people how good we are for someone to feel that I have been this thing for so long and they lord it over others. And that is where you hear in all these tributes, it's not so much about how popular Rita was, but how impactful she was. There's a lot to learn from there. I'd like to now invite the group editorial director of Royal Media Services, Inas Kaikai, to come and speak briefly. Uh, thank you. Once again, the family of uh, Rita, the daughter of Rita. Uh, thank you. Once again, the family of uh, Rita. The daughter of Rita, Mia, and the community of uh, Loikirikirai. Tell you the story of who Rita was, the impact she had in the life of an industry. We all have very nice things to say about Rita, and not because we will make up anything, but because we are reciting this as facts as they happened. She was a very good person. I'm still waiting to hear, whether from colleagues or anybody out there, who has ever had that opportunity to see Rita angry? I did not. Because she was a very structured human being. Structured in a way that I thought was too neat because I think in computer terms she worked in folders. Hata asira nafikiri likuwa na folder yake. 
ambayo inawekwa kando inaonyesha tu kwa wakati wake na kwa wachache sana kama Robert maybe wewe umeona asira yake kidogo <laughs> kwa hivyo tunasema tunatoa pole zetu and uh, here is the testament that uh, she has given and the church tells us this all the time that our book of life is spoken of in the last day this last day for us humans is the day we bury that person and we hope and look forward to the day we meet in heaven for the final day of judgment what it that will be said about Rita and I think a lot of great things have been said the family once again Ole sana tena sorry nataka kushukuru jamii ya Oloikirikirai you know hata ingawa ni wakati wa uzuri ikifika wakati huu na kwa mazishi kuna vitu vizuri vinasemwa kuhusu yule anayezikwa nafikiri inarudishia jamii heshima yake imagine kama alikuwa thug kama alikuwa mkora ingekuwa mafupi ma, ma, mazishi mafupi silent ambayo kila mtu anapita akienda but tuko hapa ku celebrate that is why as a family nyinyi lazima muwe na furaha kuu sababu ya heshima aliyo ileta na jamii hii hapa pia iwe na furaha kuu kwa sababu ya heshima ile ameileta na washukuru tena na kusema pole tena kwa siku hii tuendelee kumwenzi na mwisho kabisa like uh, we all had from the young guys who spoke here she also inspired many including the two young journalists that that came here to speak kwa hawa vijana wawili ninawaambia hivi mkipata kazi mkiandikwa mjue it has everything to do with the funeral ya Rita Tinina na vile mlivyozungumza kwa sababu mimi naona mlipita test ya kwanza so i really wish you the very best poleni to family again asante ni um na kama tulivyo sema sorry kidogo nime omba kufanya hivi Rita alifanya kazi katika media houses tatu Nation Media Group ambayo ndiyo alimalizia na amefanya huko mara mbili KTN alikuwa huko na pia alianza kazi kwetu Royal Media Services Citizen TV mwaka wa 99 kuelekea 2000 Ningependa tu wale wenzangu wote wa Royal Media Services ambao wamekuja nami tafadhali tusimame pale kuna Steven Leto tafadhali wave Victoria Rubadiri yuko hapo Nimrod Tabu Mashirima Kapombe Wote tunakuja hapa kumuenzi mwenzetu Rita Asante sana I'll now invite the Nation Media Group editor in chief Joe Agel to come and make his remarks. Na wasalimu wote wa mjambo. Bwana asiwe. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati. Ningependa kuwashukuru e, japo mimi ni mgeni lakini washukuru kwa sababu ya kuja hapa jinsi mlivyokuja e, kutusaidia kusherehekea maisha ya mwenzetu rafiki yetu ambaye ametuacha na ninasema kusherehekea kwa sababu Rita aliishi maisha ambayo yanastahili kusherehekewa na wengi wamezungumza hivyo na mimi pia ningependa kusema kweli Rita e, alikuwa na sifa ambayo itaendelea kudumu hata baada ya yeye kutu, kutuondoka. Na kabla sijaanza ningependa mtamuomba 
mwendeshaji ratiba kwamba nitazunguza mara mbili nitakuwa na mm, nazunguza kidogo kwa niaba yangu mimi mwenyewe kama rafiki na pia kama mtu ambaye aliweza kufanya kazi na Rita kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi na mitano nilikutana na yeye miaka ishirini na mitatu iliyopita na kwa kipindi hicho chote uh, nilifanya na yeye uh, kazi pamoja uh, kwa jumla ya miaka kumi na mitano kisha baadaye nitasoma waraka fupi tu ambayo umetoka kwa Nation Media Group ambayo uh, ni ujumbe kutoka kwetu sote kama Nation Media Group. Na kabla sijaanza ningependa kuwatambua wale wote ambao wametoka Nation Media Group hali popote mlipo tafadhali simameni Nation Media Group wako tu wengi kila mahali mnapoona hata kuna wengine wanahudumu wana pale kama Jane Chapia pale Mutegi wako hapa wako wengi sana na ningependa kuwashukuru sana Olive ambaye pia ni mwanafamilia ambaye yuko hapa na ni kusema kwamba Rita tulimpenda sana na sio tu mfanyikazi wa hivi hivi lakini hebu niseme kwamba mimi kama nilivyoelezea nilikuwa uh, na wakati mrefu wa kufanya kazi na Rita na kuna mambo mengi ambayo yamesemwa ambayo ningependa kudhibitisha hapa kwamba ni kweli kwa sababu uh, Rita alikuwa na tajriba kuu katika tasnia hii yetu ya uandishi wa habari wa habari uh, licha ya hayo alikuwa mtu mnyenyekevu unajua mara nyingi watu wakifanikiwa maishani wakipata umaarufu wa aina fulani watu wanaanza kuwa na kiburi lakini Rita hakuwa na hayo alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa mnyenyekevu anasaidia wengine akipatana na wana, waandishi wa habari wachanga kama wale tuliwaona hapa na mimi pia ningependa kudhibitisha kwamba nimesikia sauti zao na msifikirie kwamba eh, nafikiri Rita aliweza kuatia shime ni kusema kwamba siku za husoni tutakuwa na watangazaji wengi kutoka hapa uh, olokirai kwa sababu Rita ameweza uh, kuwa na impact kubwa katika maisha yetu pili Rita alikuwa ni mtu wa kutegemewa Rita ni mtu ambaye ukimpa kazi afanye kama ni kazi ya kumalizika saa mbili angemaliza saa moja na wakati huo saa hiyo moja imebaki alikuwa anasaidia watu wengine pia kukamilisha kazi zao hiyo ni uh, nimesikia watu wengi wakisema na, na, na pia ni kweli pia alikuwa ni mtu wa mpangilio alikuwa ni mtu ambaye amepanga mambo yake vizuri uh, kama kuna kazi inastahili kufanywa angekuwa anapanga mimi nishaelezea nilikuwa nimeongea kwa mapana na marefu kabla ya hapa na ni mtu ambaye kama anataka tuseme uh, kuna jambo limempata nataka kuondoka kidogo siku mbili tatu anakuambia nitaondoka uh, lakini usijali kwa sababu wakati huo wote ambao nitakuwa nimeenda nimefanya story moja mbili tatu zitakusaidia wakati sipo hakuwa anatakikana kufanya hivyo lakini alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anapenda kazi na alikuwa hataki kazi yake iharibike pia nilivyosema ni kwamba ni mtu ambaye maisha yake hayakusheheni sarakasi. Mara nyingi watu maarufu unasikia sarakasi leo kesho na mambo kama hayo. Lakini Rita maisha yake alikuwa maisha matulivu, maisha ya heshima, alikuwa ni mtu ako na ustaarabu wake. Lakini watu uh, walikuwa namuona pale na umaarufu, lakini yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anajiona kama mtu tu ambaye alikuwa uh, mtu mtulivu. Nikimalizia ningependa kusema hivi sisi kama jamii ya Nation Media Group na waandishi wote wa habari kwa jumla unaona jinsi tulivyofika hapa kwa vishindo ni kusema kwamba tumekuja hapa kumsindikiza mwenzetu lakini pia kuelezea kwamba ni inawezekana mtu kufanya kazi apate umaarufu awe mtu ambaye anajulikana bila huyo mtu kuwa na kiburi kwa hivyo sifa zote ambazo zimeelezewa hapa hebu nazikue shime, shime watu ambao tumeasikia tume ili kwamba tujiulize wakati kama huu ukifika kwetu sisi je ni kitu gani watu watakuwa wakikumbuka ni kitu gani watu watakuwa wanasema kwa hivyo eh, mimi ni kutoa rambi rambi zangu mimi binafsi na wenzangu kwa familia Mungu aendelee kuwaliwaza mimi najua kwamba Rita alikuwa anawapenda sana na alikuwa pia anajua mnampenda kwa hivyo anapoenda tuendelee uh, kuombea jamii Mungu aendelee kuwatia nguvu na kuwaliwaza kwa hivyo nitasoma kwa kifupi tu barua ambayo imetiwa saini na msimamizi wetu wa rasilimali watu anaitwa uh, Bijen Mwiruri ambaye uh, 
ambaye ameandika waraka huu niweze kusoma kwa familia kisha nitawaachia uh, iwe kama kumbukumbu uh, kwa familia na inasema hivi imeandikwa kwa lugha kimombo na nitasoma hivyo hivyo dia mia malaika robert nagila and the yapan family we are saddened by the death of rita tinina yapan which occurred on sunday march 17 2024 Rita was a valued member of our team in the newsroom. She was a dedicated employee, a kind-hearted individual, and always willing to help, which made it enjoyable to work with her. She will deeply be missed by all who knew her. Losing a loved one is always a traumatic experience, and words cannot ease the pain of your loss, but please know that our thoughts and prayers are with you. On behalf of the entire staff of Nation Media Group and my behalf I wish to extend our heartfelt condolences to your family during this period. May the almighty God rest her soul in eternal peace. You are sincerely Nation Media Group PLC signed by Jane Mwiruri head of our human resources. And I would like to just hand this over to to, to the family so that you keep this as a memory. And may God bless you na amani ya Bwana iendelee kuwa linda. Amen. Thank you very much Joe. And I just like to acknowledge the presence of journalists from other media houses that have not been specifically represented here. Um, if you could kindly stand up those from CGTN, KBC, uh, BBC if we have any um, TV 47 freelancers as well if you could just stand up so we can acknowledge you Asante sana let's appreciate them may have your seats um, I'll call my co MC to come and take us to the next part Okay Asante kwa sababu ya muda tayari muda wa misa umefika tutawapatia viongozi wetu wa kisiasa na tutawapatia tu kwa muda mfupi tutamuita Leon Timama nominated MC alafu aki atoe tu pole zake kwa ufupi sana ili aweze kuwakaribisha wenye waheshimiwa senators ambao tuko nao siku ya leo karibu protocols for sad my name is uh, Leon Kimama a nominated MC in Narok County I would like to pass my personal condolences to the family of Yapan I called with uh, uh, Helen and Irene Rita was younger when we were together with her elder sisters I came to know Rita through Brani Sindotu whom I think she is here with us um, and I never got to um, to interact with her for long but her death really shocked me one because um, we are proud of her as a ma girl who became a media star I would only like to say that uh, to quote uh, what Linus Kai Kai just said in the mass uh, he said maybe god granted us as a loan which god can decide to withdraw any time Uh, kwa yapans poleni sana to the cousins uh, Mary and Juliana uh, poleni sana uh, I have two condolences from our governor who is in the US and from our women rep who is also um, in Switzerland they all came through to the family Okay, ni salamu zao na kondolesi zao 
wangependa wange kuwa hapa nanyi lakini wako inji za nje ya mwisho uh, watu wa Olokirikirai majirani poleni sana uh, Ata kama tunaomboleza ningesema tu kitu moja ya muhimu kwa sababu hii area ya Olokirikirai watu ni wakulima nataka kuambia kenye kinafanyika kwa hii Kenya kuhusu fertilizer mukienda uh, eh, kwa serious body ya narok usichukue mbolea kabla hujafungua don't go and surprise yourself at home fungua hapo hapo ndio kama iko na mawe wachana naye hapo don't lose your money you'd better go buy the expensive fertilizer instead of you uh, taking the wrong fertilizer so sina mengi ya kusema i would like to invite my colleague eh, nana natuya and uh, she will invite the senator of naro county asante sana dakika moja tafadhali mheshimiwa kuja tu kuja kuja tu Asante karibu ni mheshimiwa Toya. Uh, ukimaliza nafikiri pia mheshimiwa uh, Mandaini amefika utampatia nafasi alafu mheshimiwa uh, Good afternoon church. My name is Nanana Tuya. and uh, my heart is heavy Rita has been my friend since high school until her passing and a lot has been said about Rita and that was just Rita you don't need to find anything else about Rita what you've had that is just about Rita Rita will be missed by many. And to the sisters who became my sisters and to Malaika and Robert who are together in this and may God give you the strength to take this news. Thank you very much for all of you who have come here to say goodbye to such a beautiful soul. May Rita rest in peace. Go well, my dear sister friend. I would like to take this chance to welcome our area MP, my auntie, my mama to come and give her remarks. Thank you very much and may God bless you all. Asante karibu mheshimiwa. Mheshimiwa wetu hapa na Rock North karibu sana alafu baadaye baki maliza tutampatia atamkabidhi seneta wetu ndiye aweze kuwakaribisha wengine karibu basi eh, familia ya Japan ambayo Eh, wametuleta hapa na ninawaona hapa familia ambaye siku hapa ambayo ni marafiki warita eh waheshimiwa seneta wetu ambayo nasi waheshimiwa wengine kwa sababu nimeingia tu hata bado sijajua ni nani hapo najaribu kuangalia kuona kama kuna waheshimiwa wako sijui kama uko na mgeni yeyote uko naye senator ndio nimtambue senator wa kitui ambayo wako hapa pamoja nasi ah ambayo ha, wako hapa eh, wageni wote 
pamoja na familia ya KTN kwa sababu najua muko hapo na najua you are affected na najua what you, you people are feeling ningependa kutoa rambi rambi sangu na familia kwa sababu ya mtoto wetu Rita Tinina ambayo ametuacha pokeni rambi rambi sangu mkiwa familia mkiwa majirani kwa sababu najua mnapitia nini kwa dakika hii na nimekuja kwa sababu Rita alikuwa mtu wa maana kabla sijakuwa mbunge mimi ninafanyanga kasi ya wasichana na Rita alikuwa rafiki wasichana wa Tasaru alikuwa rafiki ya wasichana wa Masai kwa sababu alikuwa anatutembelea na alikuwa anatutembelea na salamu mingi kwa sababu hata na yeye alikuwa anataka kusaidia wasichana na ndio maana mimi nilikuja kwa familia kusema pole na leo nikiwa mjumbe wenu nimekuja kuwa pamoja nanyi nikisema poleni 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 tena na familia pia ya KTN nataka kuwapea pole kusema poleni kwa sababu mumewachwa na mtu ambayo ni wa maana ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi mzuri na sisi wote tunaombolesa tunaombolesa kuachwa kwa dada yetu kuachwa ya mmoja wetu ambayo tunampenda na tunasema poleni 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 tena sana na kwa sababu ya masaa ningependa kuchukua muda mrefu kwa sababu naona kama mko na program bado hata sijaiona vizuri naona kama na najua misa pia kanisa ya katoliki najua nyinyi vile mnafanyanga kasi yenu na ninawaheshimu ninawapenda na ni lazima niwapee nafasi kwa hivyo sitawachosha na mambo mengi ni kusema tu pole nilipigiwa simu na governor akaniambia nilete salamu sake kwenu alinipea salamu akaniambia niwasalimie kwa sababu akaniambia alikuwa ametumana na mimi akaniambia niwaambie waombolezaji wote mpokee salamu sake na amesema poleni na hako pamoja nanyi ako safarini hayuko Kenya ako safarini na ndio maana akanipigia simu akaniambia niwape pole sake nasema asanteni na Mungu awabariki Asante sana mheshimiwa pole tunakuharakisha ni kwa sababu ya muda tunataka sasa kumkaribisha seneta wetu eh, Ledama Olekina alafu atamkaribisha pia mgeni um, wake karibu familia ya Japan na malaika na brother Robert na kila na familia yote ya Olekina kai poleni sana kabla sijazungumza niko na mwenzangu ambaye ni deputy minority leader na pia tuko na wengine wa kunjiani ambaye wanakuja kwa sababu Rita aliguza maisha ya watu wengi ningependa mniruhusu kanisa tafadhali niweze kumkaribisha ndugu yangu anokuambua karibu When peace like a river attended my way when so
poleni sana familia ya mwenda zake Rita Tinina as been told my name is Zeno Kwamboa senator Kitui County and the deputy minority leader in the senate that is a special dedication to the family of Rita it shall be well Rita has gone to rest but I want to assure you that the fullness of God's timing he shall make things beautiful for each one of you Niseme kwa my colleagues in the media fraternity I am a journalist of good and long standing I've worked with Rita at NMG I know she has worked with KTN she has worked with Citizen and the media fraternity has suffered a blow to my colleagues in the media fraternity I say polenisa my friends are Linus and and Joe and the rest of the leadership of the media in this country tunasema polenisa I come here to bring my personal condolences the condolences of my family the condolences of the great people of Ukambani and the condolences of my party leader his excellency Dr Steven Kalonzo Musyoka amesema pole kwa familia and because I know that he is organizing a visit with senator uh Narok he has said that when he comes over he will visit the family to say pole kwa kwa familia pole ni sana i will not be long i would just want to make one comment si mheshimiwa amesema maneno ya ya fertilizer those those of you who followed proceedings in the senate yesterday i think we pronounce ourselves very very clearly on this matter that we want a government that is responsive a government that is responsible a government that treats its farmers and the critical masses fairly the truth of the matter is that the fertilizer that is being said to be fake and i said yesterday i will repeat it now that fertilizer is not fake it is not fertilizer in the first place ni mawe na mafia punda that's what it is that's what it is and somebody must take responsibility for this responsible governments compensate or refund with those many remarks i say pole to the family of Rita Tinel and God bless you thank you Asante sana mheshimiwa um kuna heshima nyingine ambaye wako nyuma ambaye pia walikuwa wanakuja lakini tutaendelea tu akifika nitawatambua baadaye yangu siku hii ni siku ya uzuni sana ndio pasa mmeniona nimevalia nguo ya uzuni kwa sababu kupoteza mtoto mchanga na pia awache mtoto mchanga ni kitu ambaye inahuzunisha sana ni kitu saa zingine napata uulize Mungu mbona why mbona uli decide kuchukua rita rita msichana wetu mmoja ambaye aliweka village yetu ya Lekrekrai kwenye map ya dunia mbona mbona umemchukua na Mungu ni rafiki yangu na mimi namzungumzia anga kila siku. Lakini leo nataka kuuliza mbona nilimchukua. Hiyo ni swali ngumu sana. Nataka kueleza familia hii hapa. Uzuni yenu ni uzuni yangu. Kilio chenu ni kilio changu. Kwa media fraternity, may God bless you. May God bless you. Kwa sababu ya ile umoja ambaye umejitolea 
umekuja kumuoga mwenzenu vita aliguza mioyo ya watu wengi sana na ni mtu ambaye tutamkosa kwa muda mrefu lakini the only consolation that i have is that all of us are on that path sisi wote tutamfuata nyuma hakuna mtu ambaye si marehemu mtarajiwa hapa sisi zote tuko njiani jambo la muhimu sana ambaye ni jambo ambalo ningependa mnajiulize kila siku je wakati ule Mwenyezi Mungu atakuita kweli ni mambo gani ambaye atakayezungumziwa kukuhusu leo hii tumesikia vitu mingi ambaye Rita alifanya ukiona Nation Media editorial wako hapa ukiona Royal Media editorial wako hapa ukiona freelance journalist ukiona watu ambaye leo hii pengine mungekuwa mnawatarajia waweze kuwapatia ngorogio lomon ama habari na leo wako hapa ujue ni watu ambaye walikuwa nampenda kwa kazi yake mimi ningeomba wakaaje ule katika hii mutie mioyo zenu nguvu atatukuliza Mwenyezi Mungu ujue yeye ndiye ametuumba yeye ndiye kuna uwezo wa kutuchukua siku yoyote kwa msana malkia sisi sasa ndiyo tumebaki tuwe kimasai tunaita ngurio nino ngurio nini iki mgongo yako sisi ndiyo tutakusaidia kwa sababu mara kwa mara watu wanazungumza lakini ule mwenye amewachwa robert i want to tell you that we'll also be there we'll support the young girl and mimi mwenyewe mimi mwenyewe nitajitolea at least nihakishie kwamba hata kama ni secondary school mimi nitamlipia kwa sababu sasa huyo mimi najua mama ya Rita alitangulia mzee alitangulia lakini yote ni ile ambaye ni Mungu ametaja mimi sitazungumza mengi lakini mjambo mmoja tu naweza kuambia hii mambo ya hii fake fertilizer ni kitu ambaye inatukera sana. Ni kitu ambaye inatuumiza mioyo zetu. Na hii ni jambo ambalo ukiketi hapa lazima ukumbuke. Ukitakia wengine mabaya pia wewe utapata hiyo mabaya. Hii serikali lazima ijibu maswali kwa nini wana dhulumu wananchi wa changa sehemu hiyo ya lekrekrai ni sehemu ambayo ni ukulima mimi nikikuja kwa hii gari nasema Mungu ametubariki mbona mwingine akuje aanze kutuharibia riziki yetu ni kitu ambaye inanikera sana na sisi tutasimama tuhakikishe kwamba hii serikali imekuwa accountable na pia tawaombea Mungu tumwambie unajua juzi tuliambia kwamba utaulizwa na Mungu Je, wakati ulikuwa na nguvu ya kuzuia mabaya mbona kuzuia? Hiyo ni kitu ambaye sisi wananchi na binadamu hatuwezi kuwa na jibu. Lakini Mwenyezi Mungu alio hai. Leo hii tukimwaga dada yetu Mwenyezi Mungu chukua kiboko yako kali na uchape hii watu ya okora. Mungu awabariki sana asanteni. Asante sana Senator. Um, in the interest of time I will now we have a representative of the presidency who will come and give remarks on behalf of the same and I will invite Denis Tumbi to then invite Manuel Talam. After which we shall get into our mass which we are already running late on. Thank you Dan. Familia, the clergy, media houses and newsrooms represented na the community jamii ya hapa hamjambo. God is good and all the time. Hata kama tuko mazishi tusalimiane hapa God is good and all the time. Um, my name is Dennis Itumbi. I see Dana struggled a bit with my titles. Mimi ni mkubwa wa come here go there. 
mimi ndio nasimamia sava yote ambayo wamekuwa natafuta pale state house um, to the family i stand on behalf of the presidential communication service Emmanuel Talam Hussein Mohamed the spokesperson Eric Ngeno the speech writer James Kinywa Onjoy Gidai David Zioka and Erastus to say pole sana because of the interest of time we have had our written condolence which we have handed over to family I'm sure it will be read from there but allow me to say just two things which have been said very well by other people one that we wish to remember Rita as the queen and master of storytelling and stories of truth some of the stories i've heard here before i spoke are not necessarily stories of truth um we last year because of good fertilizer we improved the bugs that have been harvested in this country from 60 million to 80 million bugs because of good fertilizer the demand for fertilizer has gone up by 200,000 acres if it was bad fertilizer demand would not have gone up and finally my friend senator from kitwea said hiyo ni mawe na mavi ya punda i'm lucky to have grown up in moya where we bring up donkeys na hata mavi ya punda tuitumia kama fertilizer but that's 